Eon is a wind energy company. We uh, develop wind energy projects, we construct them, and then we operate them. Every wind farm that is developed has to go through an environmental impact assessment process, and Dr. Broders has always sort of been the expert in Nova Scotia in, in bad interactions. Industry needed to have information on movement dynamics and bat biology in order to facilitate the development of their wind farms. So our interests were really complementary in this case. So we've done some work with Hugh previously on pre-construction surveys and we discussed the possibility of combining all the sites together and making one large project of all the different wind sites. It was a collaboration between NSERC and Nova Scotia Power and Eon Wind Electric and through that collaboration we were able to address questions at a larger spatial scale than we would have been able to address on our own. First of all, it helps us to understand good and bad siting. It also it helps regulators to understand the process better and be able to make good decisions on, on permitting for wind farms. The question is where should and shouldn't wind farms be placed? So we did not find evidence of any specific corridor that should be avoided. That being said, we do know that each August thousands and thousands of animals are migrating from where they spend the summer to where they spend the winter. These places adjacent to abandoned mines and caves should be avoided because they are centers of activity of thousands of animals every single year. If we're siting future wind farms, we'll know where is a bad place to site them now. For us, really, it's all about better understanding and whether it's bats or birds or moose, it's us as engineers and developers having a better understanding of how our developments affect the natural world. Generally working with partners is something we try to do quite a lot, so collaborative research such as this is great for us. It was a great project we, we did with Hugh and I think there's a bright future ahead. As a small business owner, it's it's, it's sometimes difficult to find time to do these kinds of things, but the Office of Innovation and Community Engagement at St. Mary's certainly made the process easy to navigate and seamless. It's knowledge that we now have in-house that we will use on, on future projects. I would certainly recommend doing it again for other topics.